welcome to another video. Um, so I was on uh, Amazon just like scrolling through and um, Amazon suggested this to me. The, um, it's a third party controller. Uh, get right up close for you. See, that actually looks uh, pretty nice. Like, uh, I would prefer it if it was white rather than grey. Um, and then, uh, but this could legitimately pass off like a sword and shield um, controller. Uh, but on the Amazon page, uh, um, it claims that it has uh, motion controls and rumble, which it says on the box here. Um, durable casing and the easy connection. Um, Bluetooth, yeah, it's, uh, wake, apparently it wakes up the switch. And um, you know, it has a turbo button and you can adjust the turbo button. And apparently, I don't know if it's saying it on here, but uh, the Amazon page said that it had uh, NFC capability to scan Amiibos. So, yeah. Let's see how much of that is true. Um, um, Feels nice holding the hands. Hmm. Okay, so all of the buttons feel nice, like you can hear them clicking. But the D pad is one of those soft, mushy ones and doesn't have anything in the center to stop you from pressing in the, uh, left and right and up and down and all that, so... That, the, yeah, the, pretty much the only thing here that's really that bad is the D-pad. Everything else feels quite good. Um, and the little um, handles down here have their own uh, little, like, texture to help you grip them. Yeah. Feels nice. Oh, and it charges through USB Type C, which I was not expecting. Cause um, I think I, I think it's a uh, Logitech. I think I got one of the mice as well. And this is uh, micro USB, so it's just like surprise that it's USB Type C. So yeah, this does feel like they have put. Um, you know, money into it, and it's not even like it's uh, 50 quid, I think it was only like 34 quid. Um, where the, you know, controller is 50. Uh, the official Switch Pro controller. So, um, I'll be back in a minute with um, me having uh, trying to connect, connect this to the switch. Okay, so um, I'm here on the switch. So let's get this sorted. So should be able to just connect this uh, to the switch. Hold on, wait. Still plugged in. Hold on. Okay. Which way is a bit of a mess? Here we go. So, plug this into there. Yeah, that's connected the controller to the switch. Everything's working fine. Uh, control, uh, not that one. Uh, system settings. Control. Uh, 
test input buttons. Yeah, it does not appear to be any input lag at all. Maybe that takes a capture at home. Yeah, all of the buttons. Team. Uh, to be waiting. Yeah, the D pad is a bit naff. Like, um, you not going to be able to press both at the same time, I don't think, but it, you can see that it's definitely not. Uh, sometimes we're just doing up as an input when I'm just pressing left and right and down, so yeah. Not the best D-pad. Um, here by button A. Yeah. And then we table button it again, and then that should. Yeah, that deactivated it. So table Y. And then I think. Oh. I don't know. Uh, well, I think, like I said, um, you could adjust the. Here, everybody. So, that's something for later, but let's try using an amiibo. And it said on the um, Amazon page that it was compatible with amiibo, so. I don't see why this wouldn't work. I'm just trying to think. Did the um, paper like for like with like a URL for like updates or anything, just in case I need to do that. Uh, oh wait. And this is the little book book of it. Mm. What was that? Complete 200 quick play battles, okay. Um, smash, smash. Okay, I on this without it instantly dying. Yep. Uh, basic. Uh, one stage. Surprise that it actually does work with amiibo. Three, two, one, also, this amiibo is going to kick my ass.
Wow. Yeah. took one stock off the level 50 UV bow. I forgot how uh, good amiibos were at this game. Please have a good mind. I mean, I take those, but... I'm a little bit disappointed in my amiibo. I was just saying how good amiibos were at this my, my amiibos are at this game. And then they go and do something like that. This is actually a pretty good controller. Um, just one more test I want to do. Table put in. Uh, well, two more tests actually. So, let's quickly sleep mode. So, this also advertises that it can wake up the switch. Let's see if it can actually do that. It can! Wow! That is amazing. Also, my eye is itchy. Um, so one last thing I want to do is just like um, go into Minecraft and test out the turbo button. So the table button, I'm going to want to do a couple things to test out the table button. First is uh, get a sword and see how quickly um, it, I can kill something. Um, where's the spawn? Ah, here you go, spawn eggs. Okay. Uh, let's get a something that won't bend in the daylight. Uh a witch. Why not? <laughs> so I'm gonna hit that here bow. Yeah. That is that can hit as fast. As is possible to hit in uh, Minecraft, which isn't too much of a surprise. Also, why did I get so many bottles from? Um, yeah, that wasn't too much of a surprise, but 
one thing that uh, one of my older controllers could do is um, uh, like one of my GameCube ones. Um, probably won't be too much. Um, good because if I press turbo, uh, yeah, if I press turbo again, it's just going to stop it. And it uh, but what well, one of my older controllers, uh, the game, the Pikachu GameCube one that for the Switch. Um, it had a table when, where if you had a table like that, if you press table again, then when you weren't pressing the button, it would, you know, be table. Um, but this doesn't have that, so let's just go into uh, forward slash game move. And right. Oh no. Oh wait. Yeah, that's right. Um. So yeah, that's just like it normally. Yeah. But I believe if I hold like table. Yeah, so the table is too fast to break blocks in Minecraft. Um, it isn't really a big uh, thing because, again, uh, the only real reason why it was useful at the table button on uh, the GameCube controller could break blocks is because. Um, it had a function where you wouldn't have to press it down for it to be turbo. Um, yeah, um, this is actually a pretty good control. Like, you mean she knows? Um, so yeah, I would. Oh, I play fit. No, you can armor stand still disappear, and so do chest. That is a weird glitch. Um, but yeah, um, this was definitely, this is definitely worth the buy because I think it was uh, only 50 other quid. I'll have to uh, double tip on my phone in a minute, but um, my only uh, real complaint um, with this is uh, the D-pad being mushy and not really um, super reliable, but um, not the biggest problem because you won't really be using the D-pad much, um, especially in games like, um, Minecraft and, uh, other games like that, um, it's mostly just like JRPGs that you use the D-pad for, but even then, uh, I think most of the time you can just use the thumbstick, but, uh, some people might prefer to use the D-pad. Uh, anyway. I think that'll be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And, oh, wait. Yeah, before I go, I'll check the price. And uh, I would definitely suggest... Uh, I would definitely recommend this. Um, and if I can, I'll put a link down to it uh, in the description if I remember. Um, and if I don't remember, tell me in the comment section. And then I'll um, pin, make a comment and pin it to, uh, with the link. Um, so let me just go to Amazon quickly. Orders. There we go. Um, Switch Pro Controller with Advanced Wireless uh, Controller from Nintendo Switch with NSV and motion controls built in the me. Oh yeah, I didn't test the motion controls, did I? Um, what game can I test that in? Yeah, I guess I could test it in. So the tune, but I'd have to re-download that. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, no, it wasn't even as much as before. It was. It was only um, buy new, uh, twenty nine pounds and seventy four p. Um, and if you get it uh, used in good condition, it's only twenty six pounds and seventeen p. So yeah, I would definitely suggest picking this up if you're looking for a affordable Switch control uh, Pro controller. Um, you know that has all of the bells and whistles. And more like I don't know if it has HD rumble. I doubt it, but it definitely has rumble. Uh, dual vibration motors. Um, uh, another thing that is in this, um, in the uh, where it talk, uh, in the image on the page where it talks about the NFC uh, functionality with amiibos, uh, it has four figures, one of which is the Toad amiibo, the other three are just like Mario, two Mario and one Luigi little figures, and it's just like, okay, that's a bit weird, but they probably don't know what an amiibo is, whoever made um, this, the uh, bit where you buy it. Um, also apparently Amazon are doing an offer where you can get the controller, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and the De Super Mario 3D All-Stars for 103 quid and 72p. Which is a good deal. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna... Let me set that link so I can put it in the... Uh, comments or in the description. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.